Let's do an overview of the two-speed planetary differential. So on our two-speed planetary differential, we have our carrier housing right here. Carrier housing is going to have our bearing caps that are going to hold on our differential case bearings. On either side, we're going to see our adjusting ring. You can see just the little edge of the yellow adjusting ring right here. And we have another one on the side over here. This adjusting ring is held in with an additional lock because the sun is actually going to be able to lock to it. So this is the sun for our planetary assembly. Then if we take a look, our bevel gear is right here. Remembering our bevel gear will be driven by our pinion. And our bevel gear being painted the same color in this case as the internal is mechanically one to one. We can see the edge of one of the planetary pinion gears and that's gonna be held by the planetary carrier housing, and that carrier housing is actually the same housing as our differential case. Inside our differential case is going to be our spider shaft or our cross shaft, our spider gears or differential pinions, and our axle side gear going out through the hole in the side here, just like a typical rear axle. So our components then, pinion below, driving the bevel gear, bevel gear driving the internal right here the internal driving in our low speed would be driving these pinions the pinions are rolling around the internal and rolling around the sun gear and our carrier is the output so we're in on the internal we are out on the carrier in on the medium sized gear out on the large so this is how we're getting a reduction in first and to be in first the sun actually needs to be engaged with that locking ring and now what we're going to actually see is as the bevel gear rotates the planetary pinion gears actually rotate inside that internal now it doesn't really look like it and so what i'll do is i'll grab a marker and make a mark on that pinion and I'll rotate the bevel gear all the way around. So I'm going to mark the high speed plate so I know where I'll come back to. And I'm going to mark one of those pinion gear teeth. And in low, I'm going to rotate the bevel gear through one complete revolution. And we're going to see that that pinion rotates. It doesn't come back in the same spot. That's because we're in low. So I'll rotate all the way around. And we're back at the top of the cutaway and our mark for our carrier and our pinion gear are gone. If we just keep rotating eventually, they may come back to us. But what that's showing us is that in our low gear or in our, our yeah, the low gear of our planetary two speed, the carrier being the output rotates independently of the internal. So normal path of power from our pinion gear to our bevel gear, internal, driving the carrier. The carrier is the same component as the differential case, and so they will rotate together. All the while the sun is being held by the adjusting cap or what could be called the low speed disc. In high speed, we're going to achieve a one to one. So if I mark these all over again and I make a mark on the, the reddish orange internal and I make a mark on my carrier, what's going to happen is I'm going to rotate this through once. So I'm going to pull the sun back out. And when I pull that sun out, it's no longer held by the carrier housing and instead it's internally right in the center in here that sun is now splined to what the book calls and what's what it is the high speed disc or the high speed plate that high speed plate is bolted to the planetary carrier and so then if i'm locking the sun to the carrier i'm going to achieve a direct drive 
So I still have one reduction. I still have the pinion to the bevel gear, but then the bevel gear, the planetary carrier, and the differential case are all gonna rotate as one unit now when I'm in high. So I'm gonna rotate this all the way around, and we're gonna see that those marks on the top come right back to where they were. So whereas in first, that mark